Now, I see a lot of people that are frustrated with ApeCoin sell-off over the last couple of days, and there's no doubt that it correlates to the metaverse sales with those other deeds and the you know, you know other side metaverse that is being developed out there. And I do want to talk about that because there is a definite correlation between Yuga Labs NFT projects and the price of, of ApeCoin. But I also want to talk about why ApeCoin is so important to Yuga Labs that it will reach a bottom. Whether or not, we'll talk about some of the numbers, but whether or not it continues to decline in price, it will reach a bottom and demand at some point will absolutely skyrocket. So let's talk about that as well. And if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, five free stocks. Any $1 crypto trade, $5 in free crypto. And you can get ApeCoin on Weeble. So if you want to buy it, you can go out, check Weeble out, sign up, get those free stocks and everything, and get your ApeCoin there. But but let's talk about let's talk about ApeCoin, the price, why people are frustrated, and why it's an absolute necessity for Yuga Labs moving forward. So it will retain its demand. We just have to figure out where the price wants to steady out at. So ApeCoin, as you guys know, came out around twenty dollars, fell to you know what seven dollars seven dollars ish, and and then rose again, fell again, and then rocketed to twenty seven dollars per coin. And then it fell once more, and it's currently sitting in that $14, $15 range. So knowing the price action, let's talk about why ApeCoin moved that way. A lot of volatility right off the bat, and a lot of Bored Ape Yacht Club and Mutant Ape Yacht Club holders, as soon as they received that airdrop of 10,000 plus coins for the Bored Ape, and I believe 2,000 plus coins for the Mutant Ape, you know, that, that was their form of, of great liquidity. They sold off and they made a nice profit there, $100,000 in some cases, $200,000. And it created a ton of volatility because those that wanted ApeCoin were buying it and those that were given ApeCoin for free were selling it. So, you know, with that volatility, the early on price action in Ape had a lot of volatility. Now, the metaverse, these other deeds that were recently sold on Saturday, they went wild. They sold out, and ApeCoin was needed. Uh, a very high amount of people went out and stocked up on ApeCoin, driving the price up to $27 plus per coin in order to buy NFTs. Now, they did this because ApeCoin was a necessity. You needed to mint in ApeCoin, and you received these NFTs. Guys, Yuga Labs is viewed as a massive NFT player. And everybody wanted to get their hands on these NFTs. I've already seen some of them with 600,000 plus price tags, 600,000 plus dollar price tags. And it is evident that minting for six grand turned out very, very well for a lot of people. And the floor price, I believe the last time I looked was already for Ethereum. So everybody that minted is making money. These NFT collections by Yuga Labs are insane. People knew it. They knew they needed ApeCoin, so they bought ApeCoin. That drove the price up. As soon as the lands were sold out and people could no longer buy, those that had no intention of holding ApeCoin sold off. Now, we're currently sitting around that $14, $50 price tag, and people are wondering, dude, when is this massacre going to stop? Is it going to keep going down? Is it going to go back up? You know, I don't know. I'm going to be very honest with everybody. I don't know what price ApeCoin steadies out on. There's a little support in that $14 range. There's more in the $10 range. And, and below that, you know, your guess is honestly as good as mine. There's, there's not a ton of technical analysis to look at because ApeCoin has been traded for such a short period of time. Now, if we want to talk about demand and future demand, ApeCoin has two huge things going for it. Number one, it is the DAO token that must be used. If you want to govern Yuga Labs' future in this decentralized world, you will need to own ApeCoin. So I know a lot of guys are in it only for the NFTs. Some people are in it for the price of ApeCoin. And there will be people in it 
who want to be able to make decisions to, I guess, influence ApeCoin, NFTs, influence the future. You could be talking about airdrops, you could be talking about new NFT projects, you could be talking about a lot and a lot of power given to ApeCoin holders. The next demand that I wanna talk about is any future NFT projects. Yuga Labs has made it very clear that they reward their people. They reward their holders. Whether you own Board Ape, whether you own Mutant Ape, whether you're going to own these lands, these other deeds, Yuga Labs rewards these holders. And in knowing that, it is very likely, if not guaranteed, that ApeCoin is used as the mint for any future NFT projects. And if that is the case, if you missed out on Board Ape, if you missed out on Mutant Ape, if you missed out on these things that you can create with both of those, if you missed out on the other deeds, everybody will want to participate in the next Yuga Labs NFT launch. And if, if ApeCoin is the coin that you need to mint in, there is a guaranteed soar in demand. And therefore, most likely, right? Theory, you can't guarantee anything, but theoretically, a soaring price for ApeCoin. Where does it soar from? I don't know what the bottom is going to be. But I do know with that decentralized you know, authority that you've got in that DAO, with, with future NFT projects, all but guaranteed, ApeCoin has a very bright future. The only point that we need to determine is how low it goes before it bounces and before it takes off again. Because, guys... I don't want to miss it. You know, I, I don't want to miss it. I am very bullish on ApeCoin. I currently do not have any ApeCoin, but I plan on getting ApeCoin whenever this thing kind of steadies out. We've seen the initial volatility come and go. We've seen the volatility from the metaverse sales. It has come and now it is going. And, and once this thing finds a bottom, it is going to be in my, in my opinion, a very lucrative investment based on the future governance and based on future NFT projects. I want to know what you guys think, though, because I'm sure this goes both ways. I'm sure people are very upset that ApeCoin has come back down in price. I'm sure people are very excited about the future prospects and what ApeCoin can bring to your, really bring to your wallet and these future NFT projects. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. If that button right there is still red. Make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a pro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, you got Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. Weeble, Binance, Gemini, Crypto.com, and you can get ApeCoin on Weeble. So if you guys want to check that link out there and go out and grab some ApeCoin, you absolutely can. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.